All right, so uh, here today we're doing engineering notation, okay? And in engineering notation is very close to scientific notation. <clears throat> so let me show you a difference. Oops, I need a white pen here. There we go. Uh, 332 million. Let's just give that number, right? If this were scientific notation, we would find the decimal place. That's step one. Then we go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We'd put it right there. And so we write down this number, 3.32 times 10 to the 8th. And we'd be done, right? Well, that's not going to work for, for engineering notation. It's very similar, though. So here we go. Are you guys ready for this? Actually, let me undo all that. All right. So if we're doing engineering notation, follow the rules. They're exactly the same except one single thing. You guys ready for it? <coughs> well, this is the main difference, but, <coughs> excuse me, i got to clear my throat early morning, not enough coffee yet. Um, here's the main rule difference. When we move, so we find the dozen place, right? And we move how many zeros, correct, or how many spaces? Here's the difference. You can only move by threes. So pay attention. I can move three, one, two, three. I could put it there, okay, but I'm not going to. One, two, three. I could put it there. Um, uh, and that's actually where I'm going to put it, right here. Because this number right here, you're allowed to have one. Di before, you're only allowed to have one digit, right? So you can only have one digit here. This one, you're allowed to have one, two, or three. So right here, I'm going to use three. So the answer is 332 times 10 to the 6. So this number here, I just want you to know, is always going to be a 3, a 6, a 9, a 12, a 15, and so on. There'll be powers of 3. Why? Because you can only move by 3s. You can only move 3 at a time. You can't move individually. You can't go 1, 2, 3. You can't. It's got to be 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3. You can move by 3s. And then you got to write how many times you moved, and then how many times you move will always be a 3, a 6, a 9, a, some, some form of 3. So let's do another one. For example, let's do... Uh, Let's do a different number, 4, 2, 42 million, 300,000. Uh, let's go billion. <laughs> so it's 42 billion, 300 million. Okay, so that's a big number. Ready? Here we go. Rule is we can move by 3, right? We can move... Th oh, whoa, 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 whoa. What happened here? Uh, we can move 3 here. We can move another 3. We can move another 3. And I don't want to move another three because we should have one, two, or three numbers to the left of the decimal. Here we have two. That's perfectly fine. So I'm going to put it right there. And then we write down these numbers like usual. 42.3 times 10 to the one, two, three, nine times, right? We did three, six, nine. And remember, this number should always be a power, some power of three. It's a multiple of three, I should say. So three, six, nine, twelve, fifteen, eighteen, twenty-one. It has to be a power of three. And there's a reason for it. I'm going to tell you right now. It's because in science, this is a kilo, and this is a mega, and uh, this is a uh, is a like a uh, what is that? That's a giga right? So they have names to them, and that's why we're doing that, okay? Just to let you know. So if you're wondering why do we do it like this, so that we can say, oh, this is 42.3 giga something, gigabytes, gigawatts, giga something, right? Depends what we're measuring, right? Giga feet, I don't know, giga meters. I don't know what we're measuring, right? But whatever it is, we can just say giga something, because we have this power, and it's already in multiples of three, which in science, multiples of threes, or powers of three, whatever it is, is kind of how that works. So let's go with a small number. So 0 0.00007257. Uh, which happens to be how much money's in my bank account right now. Just kidding. <laughs> so uh, here, here's uh, this value right here. And we're going to work it. Let's do it. So we can only move by three. So we can do a one, two, three. We can go here. One, two, three. We can go here. And that works. Because that gives me two numbers and then a decimal place, right? So I can go one, two, three here, one, two, three, right here, and that's where I'll go. So the answer right here is this: seventy-two point five 
times 10 to the, I move 6 times here. So negative 6, though, just like before, we have a small number, so it's a negative 6. Um, and, but remember, again, this should always be negative 3, negative 6, negative 9. It needs to be one of those. So it's exactly the same as yesterday. The only difference is, is that when you move, you're only allowed to move by 3s. And because of that, you're allowed to have up to three numbers here now instead. Before, you could only have like one number, like 2.5 or something, right? Or like 7.25 here. But now you're allowed to have up to three numbers here. So you can have one, two, three numbers here if you need to. Uh, this particular one, um, it's all gave me two numbers. So if we would have had one less zero here, see how there's four zeros here? So if there was three zeros, 7, 2, 5, and we did the same problem, we would go one, two, three one two three right here and then we'd go 725 times 10 to the six negative that's the difference okay if we would have had one extra zero let me just do that one what if there was so instead of four zeros we would have had five how would it look one two three four five seven two five and how would it look let's see one two three nope we'll keep going one two three and that's good, 7.25 times 10 to the negative, and it was six moves. So here's three different numbers. They are all different, by the way, because they have different amounts of zeros here. Here this had three zeros, this had four, this had five, and all of them are different, okay? But they're still, uh, so they're, this is, they're all still in sci uh, not scientific notation, they're in engineering notation. Although technically, you would do scientific notation the same as this one. That's just a coincidence because it happens to be there, okay? Um, and that's pretty much it. So you're just doing scientific notation, um, and uh, you should uh, 